Today's at home workout is a 15 minute, no jumping, low impact cardio workout. Now this is from my Feel Fabulous for Summer Challenge and this is week four. So how it's gonna work, I'm gonna do the workout with you in real time. I'm gonna be working you all over. I said it's low impact, but it's still highly effective. So what I would say is if you haven't already done a warm up, simply march on the spot for say 30 seconds, then when you're ready, I'm ready to start training you today. I'm gonna to do it in a fabulous location. So for the first move, we're going to start off by doing a knee lift. So you're going to do a knee lift and then a straight leg kick, then alternate from one leg to the other. So we're going to do this for 50 seconds. So back stays nice and straight. So it's knee, straight leg. So the benefit here of this one is actually really good for working your core. We're going to get your heart rate up, working the arms and the legs. So let's just keep going. That's good. Just do it with good form. And then we've just got last 30 seconds on that move. That's good. And just keeping that going. Well done. So back stays nice and straight. So it's opposite knee to hand. And then remember you're alternating. So it's a knee lift, straight leg kick, knee lift, straight leg kick. All right, that's good. And let's just get ready to go for those last 10 seconds coming up from now. And let's just go last five, take that four, go three, two, and one. So for the next move this time you're going to squat down for three taking the hand to the heel and then we're going to have arms up and two knee lifts all right so just join in when you're ready. So we're going to go three of those squats and two knee lifts so it's squat for three counts and then arms up and do that knee lift. So that's going to really work through your core. This one here is great for working through the lower body and you're aiming to take those fingertips to the opposite heel. All right, three, let's go two and one and then arms up and go one and two. That's good. And again, three, let's go two and one, arms up, take that one and two. All right, that's good. And we've just got last 15 seconds on this move. And again, Back stays nice and straight when you're doing those knee lifts. So we stay up straight, knee lift up, up, and then take that back to three of those squats for me. Okay, that's good. So for the next move, this time we're going to go for four punches. Once you've done your four punches, you go for four half starts. So you'll see the timer. So just join in when you're ready. Again, we're doing it for 50 seconds. So just give me those four punches and really punch that with some power and then take that to those four stars. All right, that's good, doing well. And punch and punch, that's good. And then take that up from side to side. And then we'll get ready to take it to those punches and really reach it up and over, that's good. All right, well done. Let's just keep that going. Give me those controlled punches. So you're doing sets of four for each of these moves. And let's just get ready for those last 15 seconds from now. So we're just gonna give it those four punches, power punches, knees always stay slightly bent, then reach it up and over, doing really well. Power punch, that's good. And then up and over. Okay, so for the next move, this time now, we're gonna do toe taps back, but we're gonna alternate the arms. So we're gonna take your arms up, for two to the front and then to the side. So let's get ready and start now. So you're gonna take the arms out to the side. Now take them down and now reach up and up. Go in front, in front, take them out to the side and down. So why I've added in this move, one, it's really good for your upper body. It's great for your abs because you're working them for stability. It's great for your lower body, but it also really makes your mind think. This is kind of called mind fitness because it's all about coordination as well. So you're doing double arms. So you alternate from taking your arms up and then you go in front for two counts out to the side and then down below. That's good. So let's just keep that going. Alternating from one to the other, you've got less than 10 seconds to go. So today's workout is all about just working your entire body. It's low impact, but it gets your brain working as well. Okay, so for the next move, this time now, what we're going to do is you're going to do heel taps for two and then four step back lunges, all right? So just join in when you're ready. So you're going to go for doing those heel tap, heel tap, and then lunge that back for four. All right, that's good. 
keep that upper body nice and straight so heel tap heel tap and then lunge that back keep your upper body nice and straight as you do those lunges back and then you've got your elbows drawing in together to the center on that first move and back all right that's good and then we've got one and two and draw that back all right that's good we've got last 15 seconds to go doing really well and then so today's workout is really going to get you thinking we've got so many different moves on here all right that's good so it's two heel taps all right so we are done on that one so for the next move this time now we're going to travel forwards for four and we're going to be tapping the inside of the heel then we're going to step back for four traveling that foot across all right that's good so we're just going to travel forwards for four again 50 seconds on this one and travel that back so it's no jumping low impact cardio today but what I'm trying to do is make sure I'm working near enough every single muscle through your body I'm also really working with your mental fitness because we're doing a lot of coordination here these agility moves really help to keep your brain fit all right that's good let's just keep that going we've got last 25 seconds from here and I hope you can hear the sound effects to sound it like sound like waves on there all right that's good and let's just keep going last 15 seconds all right that's good and travel that back for four so sets of four come forwards touch that heel that's good then travel that back four let's go three take it two and one all right so for your next move and this time now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to just go for doing working your inner and outer thighs so come into a slightly bent position arms together and then what we're going to do is we're just going to lift one leg out to the side we'll split halfway through and then work the other leg so when you're ready you'll see the timer start do make sure that supporting leg is slightly bent for me so let's just lift that out to the side and really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together as well so working your standing leg as well as the leg we're taking out to the side plus I'm working through your arms, we're working through the upper back and we're working through the core. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. Doing really well. Just lift. Always keep that supporting leg slightly bent. Let's just change, take that to the other side for me. That's good. 25 seconds. Well done. And open and close with those arms. So this one, we work your abductor, adductor. We're also working your core because your abdominal muscles are helping to stabilize and hold you in place. All right, that's good. And let's just go for those last five seconds from now and take it five. Let's go four and three, two and one. Amazing. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a 15 second water break and then we're simply going to repeat those moves again a second time all right if you need to take longer simply hit pause okay so let's get ready we're going to repeat all those moves again so we're going to go for those knee lift and then straight leg kick so give me knee lift straight leg kick you can see the timer there so again with this one think about where we're working we're working near enough every single joint through your body so this is where i'm working your entire body working the abs the legs the arms that's good and this is the last time you're doing this move today so keep that body nice and straight and really feel that working. All right, that's good. Straight leg. And you'll find the more you do these exercises, the more flexible you can't become and you will be getting fitter and stronger. And this is from week four, as I said, from my Feel Fabulous for Summer Challenge. So do let me know how you've got on. Let me know your results. Come and find me on social media. All right, that's good. We've got less than 10 seconds to go. So knee lift and kick and knee lift and kick. Let's go three, take that two and one. So for the second move, we're going to do those deep squats. Try and aim to take the fingertips to the inside of the heel and then arms up, go to knee lift. So let's just keep that going. That's good. So we then go for two straight knee lifts and then take that straight down to that low squat. All right, that's good. And knee lift knee lift and keep thinking about where you're working here it's really good if you understand your body so by doing this exercise taking the arms up just means we're really then having to work through those abs to help with stabilization and by reaching deep to that heel just means we're then working that full range of motion with those squats all right that's good and let's just go last 20 seconds reach it over and back that's good and then just take those arms up well done 
and we've just got last seven seconds. Let's go six, take that five and four. Let's go last three, two and one. So for our next move, let's go for those four power punches. And then from that, we're doing those four half stars. So, you know, you can make this as intense as you want. You know, punch really hard and fast and reach up. You can speed up these moves. The whole thing is with fitness is to adjust it to suit you. All right, that's good. So we're going sets of four of each of these. So we punch it across, keep those hips nice and still when we're doing the punches and we take that arm up and over. All right, that's good power punch for four and then reach it up all right well done and again nice control so the benefit of this exercise works the arms and the legs and then we're also really working through the waist through the obliques as we're doing those punches and let's just get ready for those last 14 seconds punch that nice control and reach it up and over all right that's good and let's just go for another four let's go three Take that two and one. All right, so next move, this time now, we're gonna go for doing those reach up in front, push out to the side and then down. So this really works with your mind so much. So I'm getting you mentally fit as well. So remember the sequence. So we punch, uh, push down, then we push up for two, in front for two, out to the side for two and down for two. And all the time, we're just repeating that leg movement. So we're just tapping that foot back. All right, that's good. Out to the side and down. So push it up and up, straight in front. And again, these moves look easy, but they are so effective. Because again, think about this. I'm working through the arms, the shoulders. Now I'm working your arms and your chest. Now we're working out to the side, working the triceps. Now we're also working triceps and biceps. So we are working all over. All right, that's good. And let's just go for the last five seconds from now. And two and one. Okay, so next move, this time now, we're gonna get ready to come into position and we're gonna go for doing those heel digs with a chest and then we're doing those four lunge backs. All right, so sets of two and then four. So we go one and two and then step it back. So it's like we're doing that lunge for four counts. And then we're coming up to go one and two. That's good. Then take it back and that well done. And then we're going to go for doing those arms up, squeeze in for two and then step it back. And it's these quick transitions. It really gets your mind thinking, but it also gets your body working a lot harder. And remember, we're not taking any breaks today other than our little 15 second water break. We're just going straight into one move to the other. That's good. And then just pull those arms back. And let's just get ready for those last four. Let's go three, take it two and one. So for your next move, this time now, we're gonna get ready to take that to that knee lift and heel tap. So we'll bring that in front and then we pull that back for four count step back. So it's bringing the knee up, but you're touching the inside of the heel, travel it forwards and then pull that back with the arms, tap that foot across and behind. So it's set a four of each of these. Good, and travel that back. I've added in a hamstring curl there just to confuse matters. <laughs> All right, that's good. And then travel that across and back. And then heel comes up, that's good. So this one here, the benefit of doing these moves is what I'm doing is I'm really working your lateral muscles. So I'm working what we call your stabilization muscles because your body has more than just legs, arms, chest and abs. So I'm just making sure I'm engaging all of them for you. Five, let's go four, take it three and two and one. All right, so for the, for the last move, we're gonna do that one where we're working the single leg. So you're gonna come into your like half squat position. So have your knees bent, tummy is tight, arms are bent and in front and then we're just going to get ready to lift that leg off the ground and you're going to squeeze those shoulder blades aiming to get them together so you'll see the time at any seconds so make sure you're in position and let's get ready. So now let's squeeze those arms behind, just lift that leg out to the side. So this lateral move here is working through the deltoids which are the big muscles either side of your back as we squeeze those shoulder blades back plus we're working the abductor and the adductor and you're also working your standing leg. All right, that's good. 
So definitely if you haven't already downloaded, if you're new here and you haven't even started the challenge, you can go back and start at week one. All the details are in the description box down below. All right, that's good. And let's just keep that going. Last little bit for today's workout. And remember this is part of the challenge and all the workout suggestions are in your free training guide. And let's just get ready for those last five seconds from today's workout, four, and let's go three, take that two, and one and you are done so there is your high five well done for doing the workout now what i want you to do now is just march on the spot for me and keep marching until that timer finishes it's just going to help get the heart rate back down so really well done with today's workout remember this is from my training plan for my feel fabulous summer in the description down below you can get all the details you get a free training guide don't need your email so go and grab that give me a thumbs up if you've liked this at the end of the video and also let me know in the comments how you're getting on and what i would say is right at the end i'm going to leave a link for you and i to go and do a full cool down stretch and then i'll see you back on my youtube channel tomorrow for another workout